Waiting to know if you're pregnant or not can be so frustrating and so hard. Getting an accurate home pregnancy test is critical. Watch this video if you want to learn tips and tricks to making sure your home pregnancy test is as accurate as possible. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I love educating. And if you're coming back, welcome back. You're here to learn more. In this video, we are going to go over in detail how to make sure your home pregnancy test is as accurate as possible. Be sure to look at my other videos here on pregnancy testing. I have one video that's all about the background and how pregnancy tests work. I compare home urine pregnancy tests to in-lab blood tests. And I have another video here all on how a pregnancy test can be wrong. You can actually get false positive home pregnancy tests and false negative home pregnancy tests. And I go into great detail what could cause these. This video is all about if you're doing a home pregnancy test, how to get the most accurate results. In this video, we'll go over a brief review of pregnancy testing. Number two, we'll go through a brief review of accuracy of pregnancy tests. And finally, number three, we're going to go over some tips on how to make sure your home pregnancy testing gives you the most accurate results. So first of all, a brief review of pregnancy testing. A pregnancy test is a home urine or a lab blood test for a hormone called HCG human chorionic gonadotropin. This is a hormone that's made by cells within a developing embryo. This hormone can be produced by embryonic cells as early as six days after conception or fertilization of the egg and sperm. Typically, it doesn't show up in home pregnancy tests or blood tests until about eight to 14 days after ovulation or after conception, depending on multiple factors. Urine tests are qualitative tests. They're either yes or no. If you have a positive test, you're pregnant. If you have a negative test, you are not pregnant. A blood test is much more quantitative because you actually, when it's positive, you get a level of that HCG that's in your system. And as the pregnancy develops, as those cells develop and make more and more HCG hormone, you can see the levels increase and it's a way to monitor early pregnancies and see that things seem to be developing okay. A brief review of accuracy of the test, especially a home pregnancy test, the closer you test to a missed period, the more accurate the home pregnancy test is going to be. So typically people will have a period about 14 days after ovulation. And so if you're waiting 14 days after signs of ovulation and you get a positive pregnancy test, it's probably positive. If you get a negative pregnancy test, it's probably truly negative. But Sometimes people takes a few more days for the pregnancy hormone to show up. So if you do test early or if you get a negative pregnancy test, but you're still not getting your period, check again and be sure to talk to your doctor about anything that's confusing. If you get a positive pregnancy test and that just doesn't seem right, you get a negative one, but you're still not getting your period, talk to your doctor. Trying to figure out when you're ovulating, trying to time intercourse to time when you should do a pregnancy test can be really frustrating. So I have another video here on baby making sex and another one on how to tell if you're ovulating to really help you through and navigate your fertile window and when you should be trying. Let's go over how to take a home pregnancy test, most importantly, to improve the accuracy. There are four ways to think about improving accuracy of your home pregnancy test results. Number one, we think about buying the pregnancy test and which one. Number two, we think about storing the pregnancy test, how to do that correctly. Number three, think about timing when to do the pregnancy test that can change accuracy. And number four, we got to follow directions when we're doing the test to improve the accurate results. So first of all, number one, buying a pregnancy test, two things to think about. Number one, make sure it's not expired. If you have an expired pregnancy test, it might not be accurate. Number two, if you have choices at the store, there are some pregnancy tests that are just easier to read. The result is not a line that you're trying to compare, but it can just be yes or no, or a smiley face or not. These tests are all accurate, but sometimes just trying to read those lines when it's just so high stakes can just be kind of frustrating. So think about which ones you're buying. Number two, storing a pregnancy test. Pregnancy tests should be kept at room temperature and away from excessive heat, away from excessive moisture, and keep them out of direct sunlight. Number three, timing your pregnancy test for accuracy. There's two points to this. Number one, we've talked about this timing it as close to when you expect a missed period will improve the accuracy of the test. 
test. A lot of tests will say we are 75% accurate if you're testing about five to four to five days before your missed period, but they are 99% accurate if you're testing within one day or the day of your missed period. Another aspect of timing your pregnancy test is when in the day should you do a pregnancy test? Recommendation is to do it with the first urine. It's the most concentrated. You're not as hydrated overnight. And uh, if you have concentrated urine, you're going to be able to pick up on a positive pregnancy test a little bit better. And number four for accuracy, follow directions of the test on the box. So this means leaving the stick in the cup of urine or in the urine stream for the time that's recommended on the box and also reading the test within the time period that it recommends. So set a little timer. Sometimes people will get an evaporation line. If you've heard of that, it's basically they waited too long to really read the pregnancy test and it looks like there's two lines, but really it's just that the way the pregnancy test is designed is you got to read it within the window that they recommend. If you wait too long, you can get something that looks looks positive, but it's really an evaporation line. So again, see my other videos for more detailed information on pregnancy testing, accuracy. In summary, wanting to know that you're pregnant or not and in that waiting period can be so tough, but home pregnancy tests are pretty accurate. It can be really helpful. Sometimes you can get incorrect answers. If it's a little early and it's negative, just test again. And if you've missed a period, it's been a few days, but you're still getting negative pregnancy tests, just check again because it could show up a little bit later. In this video, we've reviewed the basics on how to improve the accuracy of your home pregnancy test. Remember, don't make assumptions. And if you have any questions, be sure to talk to your doctor or your healthcare provider. I hope you learned something from this video. Like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Make sure and subscribe to this channel so you see my weekly videos. I love educating. Follow my newsletter if you want to stay up to date with fertility and the news and all the content that I'm putting out there. I'll put a link in the bio. And as always, stick around for more learning.